Hi, Timothy Unkert here, and in this video, I'm going to talk about the different ways of entering insert mode in Vim. You'll see ahead I have a markdown document, and in this markdown document, um, I'm going to enter insert mode, and we're going to change some things around and experiment with it. Let me get my screen a little bit bigger here. And uh, this markdown document is actually a cover letter. That might be a topic for a different day where I take I write a cover letter in Markdown and change it to PDF and how I format it. If you find that interesting, leave a comment in the comments below and maybe I'll do a video on that. Uh, anyway, so the first way to enter in insert mode, which is probably the most obvious, is I. So if I insert, enter insert mode here by pressing I, I'm in insert mode now. Um, if I type a letter, it's going to go before the D. So let's type a T. So it goes before the D. Now, if I escape and hit undo, that will undo that. I can also do a lowercase a, and that's going to go into insert mode after the D. So I can now type T here, and that's going to be after the D. Okay, so that's lowercase a. Let me undo that. Um, I can also do uppercase I. That's going to go into insert mode at the start of the line. Okay. Let's undo that, actually. And I can also do uh, uppercase A. That's going to go into insert mode at the end of the line. OK, or line, rather. Let's undo that. And actually, let me just go Shift A, and then I'll space that out. Um, <clears throat> so let's talk about a few of the other less common ones. So there's uh, lowercase O and uppercase O. So if I do lowercase o, I go to insert mode uh, below the line here. Uh, let's undo that. If I do uppercase o, I go to insert mode above the line. Okay. So that's lowercase o and uppercase o. Let's undo both of those. Uh, if I do g, uppercase i, it goes into insert mode right in column 1. So um, I can start typing. Okay, uh, let's undo that. If I do, uh, let's say I was in insert mode here, typing a sentence. And I go down here, and I do G lowercase i, I'm going to go to insert mode where I last went out of insert mode. So I can type, I was typing a sentence. And now I'll type another sentence. Okay. And maybe I'll try and spell it right, or maybe not. Um, okay, so that's G, G, I. Uh, C is for changing, but um, we can do a motion here. We could do like change word, and that goes into insert mode. And I could say, instead of thank you for your consideration, I'll say thank you for my consideration, which <laughs> doesn't make a lot of sense. That's okay. All right, we'll undo that. Um, CC will change a line going into insert mode. So instead of, uh, you know, this cover letter where I say thank you for your consideration, I could do CC. We'll go into insert mode and say I could type something like give me the job or else. Okay. And <laughs> um, then we have uh, uppercase C. That'll change to the end of the line. So uh, let's say instead of my passion for coding is evident on my YouTube channel, I'm a hard worker and a fast learner. Uh, these qualities make me an ideal candidate for the position. I could do uppercase C and uh, I could say my passion for coding is uh, non-existent. Um, I'm actually pretty lazy. And then uh, I don't really want this job. Now, this probably won't help you get a job. Uh, and then give me the job or else. OK. Um, we could also do S, which will get rid of a certain amount of characters that we specified before that. Um, so let's say I want to get rid of five characters. So if I do 5S, uh, now I'm going to get rid of the first five characters, that word. And now I'm in insert mode. So I could say my. Uh, happy time 
op-ment environment, which makes no sense, but I could do that. Um, uppercase S will get rid of a certain amount of lines. So if I go here and do three uppercase S, I get rid of the top three lines and I could type some other lines like other line one, other line two, and other line three. Okay, and let's see if there's anything else I want to talk about. I think that's it. Oh, wait, one more thing. Insert mode, you can do, um, you can do it so that uh, it's countable. So let's go down here and let's go, actually, let me escape out of that. Let me do 4i and type something like, my name is Tim, period, enter, and hit escape. And then you go and you'll see, and it does four lines, because I did four I, my name is Tim, okay? Um, so you can do multiple lines with that. That's a nice little trick. Uh, I think that's it for what I'm gonna cover for insert mode right now. If there was one I forgot, please leave a comment in the comments below. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you wanna see a serious video on me writing a cover letter in Vim, uh, leave a comment in the comments below because I have done it and I can show you how I format it to get a really nice looking PDF with links. Uh, anyways, thanks for watching. Hope to see you in the next one.